All right, man, let's talk about uh, apparently Dame Dash revealed that um, Drake tried to buy his share of Rockefeller, they saying. I don't know if it was the uh, the uh, Reasonable Doubt album or whatever, but let's get into it. Check out the music entertainment playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. at links in the link tree. Hit the link tree. You can find me everywhere. My Detroit channel, the whole nine. So it says Drake tried to buy Dame Dash share of Rockefeller, right? He says by picking a uh, Drake op Kendrick Lamar and not Drake mentor Lil Wayne to play in the Super Bowl halftime show in Wayne's hometown New Orleans, Jay Z Jay Z signaled that things aren't good between him and him and the Canadian. My thing is this: Black people always want to read more into stuff than what it actually is. Now, apparently, Jay Z has asked Drake, and I did a video on this twice. To perform at the halftime so if there was a problem why would he, he ask him to perform at the halftime right so joe budden believes things went south a couple years ago after drake's tried uh drake tried to front run ho's wife on renaissance album which this simile theme honestly never mind project so so front run i don't know if that mean he tried to you know get an album in front of hers or whatever Whatever, but there may be something else going on. Dame Dash is being forced to sell one third of uh third his stake and host label Rockefeller because he owes money. Rockefeller's biggest asset is Jay Z's Reasonable Doubt album. According to Dame, Drake reached out and tried to buy one third stake in Rock in part spot as part despite um Hove. So hold on. I don't know why it's not showing up here. But let's see if we can we can here we go Shit, there's never been a, a a battle rap where you know the record becomes a hit puts another artist in a very uncomfortable position pause and then they get to perform it at the super bowl that's it and you know i'm thinking like what would i do if i was drake and i'd be like well a big w would be to come to the super bowl with one of these rockefeller chains and, you know, Drake hollered at me through DM and made an offer. And uh, I'm not quite sure what happened, but um, I thought that he had got with Jay or something, but I don't know. But it would be a good time to close. But if you got it, you know, I wouldn't do it if you don't got it. But, uh, you know, if you want to own reasonable doubt, if you want to own a third of it, have a, a say at the board meeting for at least the next seven years and make money off of it. Um, I would get these chains. A one, you get one, and I'm gonna make it even better. I, I spoke to Alligator Jesus, and I was like, "Yo, if somebody does buy it for this price, um, now I got to give some Rockefeller grills. So I'll, I guess I'll put up some Rockefeller grills as well if you put up the bread. As for battle rap." Yeah, there's never been a, a, a battle rap where, right. you know, the record becomes a hit. All right. So I can read exactly what he said. So um, apparently Jay-Z did not want him buying Drake buying the one third. So I don't know what happened. He said it sounded like it was a done deal. They was going to buy it. So I don't know, you know, but I, he said, I'm thinking like, what would I do if, if I was Drake? I'd be like, Dame said of oh, the Super Bowl controversy. Well, a big W would be to come to Super Bowl with one of the Rockefeller chains. Drake hollered at me through DM and made an offer. I'm not quite sure what happened, but I thought that he had got with Jay on something, but I don't know. But it would be a good time to close if you got it. Dame Dash continued. You know, I wouldn't do it if I don't got it. He said, if you want own reasonable doubt, if you want to own a third of it, I have to say, have to to have a say at the board meeting for at least the next seven years and make money off of it. I will get these chains. So he's trying to sell this hard. And a lot of this, these interviews he doing is, uh, you know, is marketing trying to get the highest bidder. Do you think Drake reached out? Is something happening happen or his dame telling a tale? Drake does have a history of buying other rapper stuff. I think he bought Cameron's pink Range Rover. So he probably did, and probably Jay Z told him not to do it. That's probably what happened. And Jay was like, "No, nah, I don't fuck with it." 
and Dame's desperate, and he probably talked them out of it. So I don't, I don't, I mean, maybe he paid him not to buy it or whatever, and maybe he blocking him, he blocking, you know, Jay from uh, blocking Dame. Obviously, it sounds like he blocking Dame from selling it and making money off of it. And Jay-Z ain't got to say nothing. Jay-Z has got to give it a master class on how to, um, how to handle beef. He don't publicly speak on nothing. You know, he don't publicly speak on nothing. So I don't blame him. He don't publicly speak on nothing. So, and that's how you should, you know. Uh, so, uh, you know, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'd be glad when this controversy is over between Jay and and Jay and 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 Dame and all this type of stuff, and you know, like I said before, um, you know, uh, probably gonna be uh, done to somebody dead. And I ain't saying they they trying to off each other or nothing like that, but um, probably gonna be done to somebody six, you know, somebody six feet deep. And Jay got all this money and everything, like you know. They should just get together. He should just buy from Dane. Overpay for it. It's nothing to him. You know, and Jay-Z, no, you know, just hearing some of his homies uh speak on him. You know, Jay, Jay kind of know he be on some bullshit. You know, and I know he probably like, I don't owe another nigga nothing or whatever. You know, and that's how you become a millionaire. You don't get to be a millionaire by passing out cash and passing out opportunities. You know, or or you know, too many opportunities, whatever. But I just feel that, you know, all these dudes can't be lying about how he move, and how he don't take care of his people all the time. And then maybe from his perspective, they did some whole shit, or they fun with the opportunity. He opened the door for them, and you know, they shut it. So that 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 could be something to that as well too. So you know, quite frankly, I definitely understand. You know, understand them that you know people. People abuse, people abuse, you know, um, people abuse their opportunities. People abuse their access to you. He's definitely, you know, he, I, I feel him on that. We only get Nave's side of the story. And I mean, if I'm Jay, I don't feel like I need to give anybody else my side of the story. So I definitely, I definitely understand him from that standpoint of view. You know, so we'll see what happens with, with this whole thing. But apparently... Dame, you know, from what I'm seeing, Dame is having a hard time. Dame is having a hard time selling this thing. And Jay should just call him in and buy directly straight to him. Overpay him. He need the money, apparently. Overpay him. Get your Rockefeller chain back. <laughs> Overpay him. That's what I would do. I would just overpay. All right, bam, I got it back. Now, if Dame don't want to sell it to you out of spite, and I'm pretty sure he's probably tried to buy it from Dame. I don't know if he 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 thought about overpaying for it, but I'm pretty sure he's thought about trying to buy it from Dame, and probably Dame is being a hard ass about it and being arrogant about it. So, you know, but hey, it is what it is. Check out the music entertainment playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash at Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music. Check out the Patreon. You won't be disappointed. Um, but let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Check out my other channel, Free Game 89, FR33 Game 89, my Detroit channel, Marcy Sports Talk. All that's in the link tree. Appreciate y'all. Peace.